Hey. How are you? Good. How are you? Uh, how am I? Ooh. Good question. Do you want me to answer honestly? Yeah. I'm fine, thank you. <laughs> I honestly forgot we were doing a podcast then. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even joking. I so <laughs> lacking in energy. <laughs> Fucking hell. Forgot. We've been away oh, for yeah. three weeks, yeah, guys. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Fucking hell, Alfie. You. You all right, John? Yeah, I was worrying then. It took you a while to uh, to let me in. I thought I had no. a secret secret meeting behind my back. No. No, no, I, no. For- I forgot no. we were doing a podcast and was being really boring. <laughs> How are we, boys? <laughs> Good. How are you? Super duper happy, happy as Larry. You look fucking <laughs> shattered. What's that oh. sideways TV? I've never looked, seen that before. Oh, on yeah, the... double TV. I tried to Alan key it off, but um, I didn't have the right size. All oh, right, that's what she said. <laughs> we Willie's already. We haven't spoken for ages. No, <laughs> no, we haven't. <laughs> do you know what I was going to do today or tomorrow? Go on. E- edit the uh, the unheard. Uh, Plymouth. Oh Jesus! Episode. That's one I won't listen back to. You listen Some... back to them sometimes, yeah. Oh God, no! Say no. <laughs> I listen back. I go, where can I improve? No, you don't. I do. You definitely do not. I do. <laughs> no, you don't. That's how good he is. <laughs> yeah, that's how the pros think. <laughs> yeah, that's where I'm. That's where I'm lacking, maybe. Yeah. That one, you were in a very dark place. But you must be in a very happy place now. Safety. Smug smug place. Smug place. Yeah, yeah. Oh, God. Smug job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For yeah, the I'm... listeners at home who don't know. <laughs> and then he's doing it anyway. <laughs> I feel like i got to. <laughs> yeah. Exeter are safe as houses, and they're on a wonderful run. And um, Gary's done what we always thought Gary would do. Gary does what Gary does. Yep. Yeah, did it? Did you guys see the photo of him wearing the Gary out top? What? No. Yeah, he. Yeah, I, I spoke to him after the uh, after the Stevenage game, okay. and he said that I would. I'd have to. He'd only come on with one request, though, David. He wants me and you to have our tops off for the episode. Fine. Fuck off. No, that's fine. That was Why? his request. Why? He said. He, I. Sh- he said. I'll shake your hand now. I'll do it if you both have your tops off. Well, all no. three of us now. No. Well, no, no, he didn't say me. We technically didn't say Alfie, no. Yeah. I'm not doing it. Okay, well, then you can't have him on the pod because we verbally agree. All, right. All right, don't come in. Don't okay. come in, don't come on. Do you feel as though if we uh, were through... Oh, that's brilliant. Let's have a look. What's this say? Caldwell out. What's that? What's at it's, the bottom? I think... I don't know the whole... It says Caldwell out, out, as in, like, you know, get out twice. I don't really know why it says out twice. <laughs> that get posted. On social media, not by the club, but lovely. by somebody. This yeah. is lovely. And he must be wearing that, thinking, "Fuck you." Um, no, I think it was like you it was fucking all twats. It was all done in me that whole hey, scene. Hey, really Alfie, gave me hey. Shit. I'm saying this is Gary. Don't have a go at me. Yeah, yeah, this yeah. Hey, yeah. you love your, so. you love your chance to tell him what you think when David takes his top off. I won't take my top. Why do you want me to get my top off? I Why don't does want you he to. Want you to take your top off. <laughs> That's a different question. <laughs> one that I can't answer. I take my bottom off. But no one's up. Well, you could have your bottoms off now for all we know, and no one would know. Maybe. That's true. That's true. <laughs> I'm gonna do an episode in the next ten mm. where I have my bottoms off and you, you don't what do know. What do you mean your bottoms off? Like no boxes either. Just no And I won't we, but... you'll forget that I've said this. But I'll oh, well. do it nude. See, I think I could somehow zoom into your glasses, see the reflection from the screen. No. Maybe somehow. No, I think his Cure magazine in the background, gonna, he's going to spin around laughing and his bollocks are going to be out. <laughs> spin around. <laughs> <laughs> what if, like, yeah. Naomi comes in? Because oh, It's, it's not anything you... she hasn't seen before, is it? No, no, no Daddy but John, she, just might, be she might be thinking... Why has David got his todger out when he's chatting? Well, I'll tell boys. her. This is the app where right, I get my todger. Okay. She will sigh. So, <laughs> so, so. She'll yeah. love it. She'll <sighs> get a little buzz off of it. Really? 
<laughs> oh, so you're allowed to say that? It is his own wife. Yeah, but I did. Yeah, fair, fair enough. So, Ga- uh, well, it's, I don't know if it's been confirmed yet with Gary, but that'd be he's, lovely. He told me he'd be happy to come on. But what is this? He told me question? business. Yeah. Well, what? Why is it? What do you mean? I I just spoke to him in person. Where? In the boardroom. Where? Oh, of course. After the Stevenage game. That's ages ago. No, nope, literally last Saturday. <laughs> we'll How see. did the conversation go? Um, we were ju- we were actually just leaving. Mm. Um. And he sort of, I sort, we all sort of shake hands on the way out, say, "Well done, well done on three points." And then David, uh, Gary went, "Oh, I'm I think I'm coming on the pod at the end of the month." And I, and he went, "I went, yeah, I think you are." And I sort of murmured the date that Naomi had mentioned. This is the worst conversation ever. That's and he went, "Oh," and he went, "Oh, yeah, yeah, that's what that last weekend of the season, yeah, 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 yeah." And then I was just as I was leaving, he goes, "Oh, John, uh, one condition: I'm only doing it if you and David have got your tops off." Actually, no, he's this, sorry, that's a lie. He said one thing before that. He went, I saw the video of you celebrating with your top off. Mm-hmm. I'm only doing it if you both have your tops off. That's fine. Well, you can't speak on behalf of David. David, you'll pop your top off, won't you? Yeah, I'll get my kit off. Yeah, I won't. I absolutely <laughs> won't. <laughs> Just one thing before I forget. Hip switchers faltering at the moment. Hip switcher what, sorry? Faltering. Are we? We're, in, we're second in the league, so it's a bit of a strange comment. Oh, that was hurt. That one has hurt a little bit. That one. Oh, huh? I thought you needed to get a win and you didn't. To be top of the league, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Well, uh, my thing is, if you go into the playoffs, please, can we do watch alongs? Yes. Yeah, we can. Yeah. Oh, I'd love what to do it if you don't mind. I was also oh, yeah, wondering, should do we it. do Plymouth watch alongs? What? Absolutely not. I love now that I can really get on board with. Wouldn't you want to do a Plymouth watch along? No. Why not? Why would you I want can to watch them? When they concede. Yeah, and also I'd have to watch them when they win. See, that's strange to me. And I just want the... to watch their little journey and if they're going to falter. Yeah. Who they, did you um... want to win? I don't care. I just want to. I want them to have to win on the final day of the season. And what if they win? Fair, fair dues. If they don't, fair dues. Just I think it'll, your... they'll they'll have to. I don't think so they'll have to win on the final day. <laughs> so they will, I'm the um, fair dues guy. They because there's so many bad teams in the champ championship. They'll have to like equal someone's result or something. So they'll be they'll be fine. They won't go down. The four te- the three teams, whatever it is, below. They might them are, go down. No, I don't think they will. They're the, the teams below them are crap. Sheffield Wednesday, they're doing all right. Yeah, but they gave themselves too big a hill to climb, I think. No, John, come on, they're two points ahead. Come on, to say yeah, that they're safe. Happen, come on, mate. Hey. Anything can happen. Can you imagine doing a watch along with Alfie against Norwich? Fucking hell. Well, we could have done it. It was an early kick. I get, I get so much abuse when Norwich beat Ipswich, and I give nothing out. Uh, hold on. I Wait. vividly remember you giving out four big Vs, I actually. Gave, Two big Vs. I, gave, I mean online. <laughs> I mean online. I did do the <laughs> That's Vs. what I've I apolo- mean. I've I mean online. Yes, I mean online. In person, <laughs> yes, I, I've apologised for that. That was a terrible thing to do. It was a mistake. I've apologised many times. <laughs> you do loads of that. Now, I apologise for what I did. <laughs> you actually it's because I'm sorry. <laughs> it's because I'm sorry. How about that? Yeah, takes a big guy to say, hey. <laughs> exactly. You speak like a politician. <laughs> Are you lip salving your lips, John? Yeah, Mid-pod. they're really dry. I don't know really? why. You, well, know, always, you know, you, just, you, you keep, um, by using it, Yeah. you yeah. keep prolonging the, the dry lip agony. You need Plastering to... over the cracks, mate. Yeah. Literally, literally the crack, yeah, the crack. Well, then why would they? Why would they sell this as a product then? Why do you think? So they can make money. Yeah, stop go. using it, and you won't have it. Wow, I've never. That's even blown your that mind, is not it? That has blown my tiny little brain. Binham, Binham, live on the pod. You absolutely, that would be really. That would be such these a are, big moment. These are Bert's bees. No, it wouldn't. It would be absolutely. It would have no effect on your lives. I'd bin them, and you'd go all right. 
Do you have it on you, that stuff, when you go on nights out in your pocket? Um, yeah, I take this with me everywhere. Mm. And if you think you're about to have a kiss, will you rush into the loo, apply it, and then come out? Oh, oh my God, a greasy go... kiss. Yeah. Why would I go to the loo? No, I just... You whack you it don't, out it's not club. like it's not something you have to keep. It's not like a oh god, a dry again, bang, dry again, bang. You just put it on once for the day or twice, and it's done. If wow. I was to kiss those lips now, I'd feel like I've. Kissed, well, like, you ain't million ever million gonna dollars. kiss these lips. Mm. <laughs> you're it never like ever oily. gonna get a kiss off these. Okay, that's fine. Good job you're not kissing me then, isn't it? I'm just saying. If you are listening, Burt's bees, which you're probably not, because I don't even know who owns you, but I don't really like your bees wax flavor. I quite like the strawberry one. Love mm-hmm. the coconut one. Brilliant. And the cucumber flavour might as well be just a solid block of water. Yeah. Cheers. <laughs> so you like one. You like one out of all their range. No, three. I didn't get onto the vanilla one. The vanilla one is a... Oh, sorry. Coconut When are you getting onto that one? Well, the thing is I saved that one because I, I end up licking it off my lips because I really like the taste. Mm. Fucking hell. Like Vanilla dog. ice cream is the bollocks. Let's not beat around the bush here. Why do you keep saying let's not beat around the bush here? I don't know. Let's not. <laughs> no. Just loads and loads. Yeah. <laughs> is that your... I've said it twice. <laughs> In quick succession. And the first time you said it, I thought, I've not heard John say that. Is that a new... Well, uh, okay, I won't learn new vocab then. I'll just stay no, to my I like it. I'm saying, I'm saying have you picked that up recently? No, no, I've used around the bush quite a bit actually <laughs> <laughs> don't because i've got loads loads of flame in my don't got again oh, me You're always ill always i've got, got fucking youngsters in the house well my children right <laughs> i've got youngsters in the house yeah you had to clarify that <laughs> michael jackson was riddled with flu sorry back in the day what did you say there? Michael Jackson was my, riddled with said, flu. Un, I thought you said Uncle Jackson. I thought you said my Uncle Jackson. Yeah, yeah that's that's what I thought you said as well. My Uncle Jackson. The weird my segue. Uncle Jackson was riddled. <laughs> so, what, so what, you're not going to laugh for the rest of the pod because you've got flu? No, sorry. I've just got, you know when the phlegm is really thick and green? and t- Oh, that's but... the best. You get up in the morning, get in the shower, bang, straight down the flipping drain. What do you mean? I'm going to be sick. <laughs> what do you mean? John, can I ask a question about football? Yeah, uh, go about, ahead. About, about Exeter. About time, really, yeah. No, I, I am obviously interested. Um, yeah. <laughs> Not that obvious. <laughs> yeah, you, absolutely. It doesn't strike me <laughs> no, at I all. No, I am. I'll be, <laughs> listen, mid-table stinks to high yeah. heaven. I'm happy <laughs> for us. I'm happy for Gary. I'm happy for the players. But fuck me. It's blah, blah, pointless. blah. Get on pointless, pointless, to the point. Pointless. Which players am I saying goodbye to? Uh oh, that is a good question. I would imagine. What do you know? No, I don't really know anything. To be fair, yeah, you do really. Know yeah, anything. <laughs> and I'm putting this on YouTube so everyone will see you giggle. No, yeah. I'm just looking. I'm looking up. Uh, when I, I find myself doing that a lot, when I'm thinking, I always end up looking. Stop stalling up. <laughs> and tell us what you know. Um, what do you know? No, well, you already know Alex Hartridge and Moisa aren't going to be here. Gary's. Oh, I don't that. know about that, about Moisa. But we've agreed with Moisa that probably isn't going to work out. So I think he's gone back Why? to. to Why? Okay, What's the problem? It's not what we're looking for in a striker. I don't think. I think he fit the. What you mean you a know, striker that doesn't score? He scored. Sounds like every striker you've had since. <laughs> Been on you know team. what my mate said at the weekend? He said, he was chatting about the pods, he listens. He said, I'll keep an eye on Exeter now. He said, I always have a look, at, scroll down. He said, whenever you've won, it's always 1 0. <laughs> yeah, we have scored like the one nil, one second one. least amount Two of goals in, <laughs> in the well, universe. That's what I don't get, though. See, like you never keep football fans happy. We've just not lost for seven games, winning three. I'm happy. No, Could winning be four, drawing three, or whatever it was, and people will be like, "Well, we only won one nil." Wait, hey, well, not people, Mike. Yeah, Mike, not people. Name He's it. Mike. Oh, my uh, friend. Yeah, 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 your friend. Sorry. Um, so uh, Alex Hartridge and Moisa will be. Where's gone. Alex Hartridge going? I don't know. I don't know him like oh, that. Really? To be I'm pretty sure you would know because your brother's on the inside. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but but they don't, don't tell. Messaging into the WhatsApp group. Oh, by the way, he's going to 
bloody Oxford or whatever. No, so just tell no. us now on the pod. <laughs> but footballers don't leave football clubs and go, oh, by the way, I'm going over here. They just go. They just leave. You don't know who they're going do they? to. He probably really? doesn't know. He probably doesn't know where he's going yet. League one or league two, do you think? Or champ? It's interesting because... Well, it is because you know. Is... No, I don't know. <laughs> That's my point. Uh, I don't know if Alex is... <laughs> I love those dark winter days. <laughs> we'll be back there next year. Lovely. I don't. I don't like know. I was generally thinking that today before we came on. Ooh. This is good. all the same next year. I'll A tell you right now. I'll tell you something about next season. Fashion. If we keep the core of the squad, which a lot of it is already tied down to contracts, but if we We're get a couple up. of people, let me talk, okay? If we keep a couple of players, mm-hmm. like I think, if we keep Ryan Woods and Tom Carroll. And we just get that num- the right number nine will be in the playoffs. 100%. What? Whoa! What I think fuck? I think if we Big had if we, John. If we hey. had Jamie Reid this season, who's Steven is a striker, we'd be in the playoffs. We would be. Facts. John, where's this come from? Yeah, because you've massively changed your tune. No, but Which we're, we're think, not. That's why we something? were so bad for so long. In those games where we went 13 without a win, we weren't no, uh, well, it was more than thirteen. Wasn't it? Completely lost my train of thought. That's perfect. Um, the, the, when you get losing, should be losing, able to jump losing. back on it, John. Yeah. Well, I don't normally have people just going. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I think this is a good test because you did shout at us. And if you're presenting match of the day, and Alan Shearer goes, "Well, John, you, you can't go." Well, let me finish mm. my point, mm. Alan. You think I we're going re- up? No. Well, yeah. If we if get we get a striker. Have they got an eye on a striker? They've probably got eyes on several strikers. Do you know? Oh. No, I don't. I'm not going through. I really want to go through this <laughs> every year. It's I don't. So I don't know. I don't know. I don't know who they've got eyes on. Yeah, you or, do. But I would imagine. Do you know one name that they're looking at? No, I have. I don't know a single. Why do you keep looking at where your lips are? Or could be. They're not up there. They're well, in. they could be. Well, all right, but I've just told you they're not. <laughs> Let's phrase it like this, John. What? Who do you imagine they hmm. might possibly be looking at? I don't know. Oh, no, that's a good question. You can't evade <laughs> that. <laughs> what do you mean I can't evade who, who that? Who do you imagine <laughs> they might be looking at? Yeah, what, uh, sort of, what sort of striker might they be looking at? It'll that's be same someone that fits the profile of no, Jamie no, no, Reid no, no. in terms oh, of like who? physical. Jamie Reid. A lot no, of Jamie not Reeds. Ja- not Jamie Did he Reed. used Jamie to Reed. play for Exeter? Uh, yes. Right. He'll be, okay, um, he'll be playing in the championship next season, I'd imagine, or the top end of League One. So he could come to With us. Place. No, I wouldn't. I would say if we're going to be pushing into the playoffs, we'd need someone better than Jamie Reed. Who? Like who? I don't know who's. Stick a name on it. It, well, the who? Thing is, I'm right, just interested. It, yeah, I need to thing know. Is, it could be anyone. It could be some random bloke that we signed from non league that yeah. all of a sudden comes in oh, and is unreal. Not a non-league dickhead. Hey, yeah. we brought in a non-league quote-unquote dickhead, and he was brilliant on Tuesday night. Oh, so. he's one of my favourite players. Ali? Yeah. Oh, I love him. So, I just, love him. if you love legs, right, that is a man whose legs are just glorious to look at. Describe this, them. Like, just pure definition. Every muscle is, like, as if it's been drawn by a artist. It's beautiful to just look at. I'd love to get him on the pod, and in his little square, he just puts his thighs like there. Oh, yeah. And we can we can just study it. He's not going to do that. <laughs> Never ever going to do that. Ten minutes. He'll just stand there for ten minutes. We'll prep. Yeah, just flexing his up. thigh. Flex oil up. He, I was uh, I I was commentating on the uh, well, co-commentating on the Stevenage game, and he was right down by, like where we were commentating and he held the ball up and he was sort of using all his force to keep this mm. defender away from him and his legs were just like twitching and like all the muscles were like fibring about it was unbelievable if you went in the change rooms and he went john i've heard you like my leg come and have, come and have i don't like his legs they're just uh, nice to look they're like, amazing to look at it's like, impressive yeah if he said to you john john you uh, you look about john it's me me a mm. oh it's hi me. Um, I know it's you. You're the only one in here. You're whispering at me. No, if you're outside, do you want to come into my ch- chain, into the change rooms, have a look at my legs? There's definitely a safeguarding issue in there of some description. Why? No, he's going to come into my car. I'll pop my trousers. Have a look at my legs. Would you do it? 
No, that's weird. I'd be like, <laughs> what are you doing? John? Yeah? What sort of striker would they be looking at? What sort of striker? Here's a question. I just I'm told gonna go, you. I'm going to go a little bit more specific. Would they need to be looking at who they potentially could afford? Okay. What? Great question. So you can go for any striker or bottom of the champ, but who can they afford who'd be good enough? Yeah. Oh, Give us some who names. we who we might have heard of. It's a good question. Yeah, it is. Um I personally really like the look of a couple of players in <laughs> League Two. There's also one another one at Stevenage who you'll be familiar with, David, Elliot List, who hasn't really got much of Elliot a... List. And I'm familiar. Elliot List is in my Carlisle team who I've got to the Prem. On FIFA. FIFA. He's yeah. flipping brilliant Quick as a gnat. Um, who would I like to see? I'm trying to think of who I saw. Do you know who I really liked from Fleetwood who are probably going to go down? He's not a striker, but more of a number 10 for us. They had someone called uh, Phoenix. Fe- something Phoenix. He was unbelievable. I'd love to have him. Well, get on the phone to your mate who does the signings. It's just too far, I think. Fleetwood to Exeter is a bit... Would you not go to him? Oh, by the way, I know I don't want to step on any toes, but have you yeah, I've I've Elliot texted him List? before about players. Yeah, my, I, have you, Marcus? Wow, yeah. have any been really? signed? I was I was going to go the other day to watch um, Alti play just to have a little look at a couple of players, but not like you know what, not for the we're... club. I was just going to like say yeah, well, this is what, what you know for the club. Yes, but not like not anyone that we're bringing okay, in. Just like it's better to... the because they're coming up. X where we're going to go? Fucking nuts. Yeah. Here, Ah, I'm not so a bloody... they're sending John Beer. Right? No, no. Why are you trying to? No, they don't pay anything. <laughs> I would have gone up my own accord. I would have literally gone as a fan, and then I would have. Marcus would have then asked. What oh, what did you think? The, of... What does for the club mean? For, not, it's not for the club. I would just would have told Marcus. Oh, this. Would Marcus right, have sent that little form through on the email for you to fill out? No, it was that's too formal. That. Yeah. But I would. Have, I would have, have just. You, um, have you I, basically, basically mentioned a player Aldo? to Marcus? What? Yeah, Aldo. What? Oddo. No, what about you? Yeah, forget that. I was going to say, kid. have you ever mentioned a player <laughs> to Marcus that they've actually then gone out and. No, I've never recommended a player. I've just, I've just been like, oh, I saw this player. He's all right. That's not recommending. And he was like, oh, yeah, yeah, we've, we've, been, we've seen, we know about him. But realistically, if I know about a player, Marcus knows about a player. It's his job. He didn't know about Odd- Oddo. Mm-hmm. Well, he did know about Oddo. Well, he didn't. Well, he, he did. He thought Marcus thought it was a big joke until a month later he wins. Player of the Month award, League Two. Yeah. All a big joke, wasn't it? He did know about Oddo because he played against us two seasons ago. Well, he didn't know enough about him. Well, he knows that he's not. Well, whatever. Forget it. He's he then sent a scout out, I believe, to have a look at Oddo. Didn't me. He? Oh, well, well my brother and pleased to meet you. Well, me. David. David accompanied him. Yeah. I think um, your brother accompanied David actually. Well, who drove? Who was driven? <laughs> John, John, John. Yeah. Yeah, Going yeah, back yeah. to the original question. Yeah. Who 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 am I saying goodbye to? Moisa, Alex Hartridge. Yeah. Well, I, there's a couple of players that are contract. So I think Harry Kite's out of contract. I don't know if he's going to sign another one or not. I'm I don't know. Um who else is out of contract? Tom Carroll. Dim- Dimitri Mitchell's out of contract. Tom Carroll's out of contract. Uh um, do, do you think they'll go or do you think they love Gary and us on the pod? Uh it's in, it's a really interesting. I would if you'd asked me before Dimmy got injured, I would have said no chance. If he hadn't got injured, we probably would have sold him in January because he'd only had six months left or whatever. Um, Tom Carroll is a weird one. He could probably play higher, certainly higher up this division. Um, but he might like it. Danny is getting on a bit in terms of his football lifespan, so he might want to keep his kids down there, move to Exeter. It's quite a nice place to retire, sort of thing. Ryan Woods is the one that I think is the most important one to keep. But he's got a year left on his deal at Hull. Um, on Have you seen him, Alfie? <clears throat> no, good player. Yeah. Surely being a championship super fan, you should know about Ryan Woods. He was like... I'm not a championship super fan. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, you've watched, you've watched your team play in the championship exit. for numerous years. Yeah. He was, he was one of the best midfielders in the championship for a while. He has more career appearances in the championship than Tom Carroll has senior appearances. Wow. Very good. Very, very good. Can you I give us some we... inside goss? Yeah. I have none. In April. 
Have you got? Could you put something in the? I'm not asking you to. Do you know something? No, I don't know anything. We're back I'm here sick again. of this. <laughs> <laughs> I Dave genuinely Dave. don't know anything. I genuinely don't know anything. Yeah, Absolutely you do. Nothing. I don't. You, do. I you always don't. say that, and then your WhatsApp us an hour later. Just give us a tip, man. <laughs> I, I, I don't something. know anything. Are we I don't hungry? Know just the crumb. A little, yeah. Chuck us a little mouldy hunk of bread just to chew on for a bit. Alfie, you don't really care. And Davey... Yes, he does. He <laughs> cares more than you, son. Club. I've put, I put more money into this club than you. We worked that out last Well, you time. haven't. I've been a trust member for the last 10 years. Right. Well, you never bought a ticket. I have. You, listen, it does, everyone knows that you know you hear things. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah, but exactly. But everyone if I had heard something... <laughs> Is this is such a weird, like, oh, I couldn't possibly say. Okay. I don't want to enjoy it. I'm going to be 100% real with you right now. Yes. Yeah. Uncut. The last time I was in the boardroom, mm. the most interesting thing that happened was my auntie Nicholas spilling a beer. That is the, that is the peak. But you hear stuff happened. around you texting. And... Yeah. No, I don't, I'm not in any text groups. I don't get texted by anybody. You're the only in person the boardroom. I... Yes. Do you know who goes in the boardroom? <laughs> I don't think you hear it in the boardroom. I think you get a text from your brother on a Tuesday night. No, Here, my brother. Have a listen to this, son. My brother goes to sleep at about eight thirty every night. <laughs> I'm probably just waking up at that point. He says so that. we miss each other. Mm. I don't Look. actually know what that's supposed to mean, Dave. Yeah, yeah, I don't know what that's, <laughs> don't supposed, know to know what that's supposed to mean. Nothing. You think the boardroom is this sort of like really secret, like no one's no, allowed no, in there. John, sort of all I know I is do. you knew Men stuff last season. This season gone back in the d- the dark winter. You knew stuff, <laughs> <laughs> and, and you know stuff again. <laughs> this this is the best section of the pod when you know stuff, and we don't. Yeah, but it I really don't. Plays. I'm telling you, I don't know anything. Actually, as well, here's the issue. If John starts spilling his guts, <laughs> then they're not going to tell him stuff. Mm. So then it becomes this... I you've don't get... Give just no, right, I think you guys mm. think that someone goes, John, come, like, come over here, come over to the corner of the room. Yeah. We're signing... Da, 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 da. No. no, but when we sign players, you, you go, yeah, no, I knew, yeah. Yeah, and you take great pride in, in telling us you knew, like, 20 minutes before or whatever. No, sometimes... Well, yeah... No, not really. I don't take pride in it. But you do know. I <laughs> naturally hear things because of the right. people that... Yeah, yeah exactly. Here, I'm, but here like, we go. <laughs> but so like, who are we looking at? I never know. I never know, like... <laughs> I know you can't say anything because it can, you know, mess up with the transfer. Yeah. No, I, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, but you've got to give us something. To make a stop. I've told you. Him. We'll be looking for some strikers. Now you do know as well. That's lovely. I don't know. No, I listen, don't know. All right, you don't know, but you do no, know. No, yeah. you go. You go. No, okay. I don't know. You, you were like on the record. You I made. I said this, <laughs> and I'll say this again, and I'll say it to his face, and I'll say it whatever. Gary Caldwell is the best manager we've had in my lifetime. He understands the club. He's tactically miles ahead of any of the gaffers we've ever had. He's a lovely guy, which I know doesn't really play into the fact whether he should keep his job or not, but it helps. He does so much stuff in the community. He is an ex- uh, played football at a level that pretty much no other you know manager in our division can say they've done. He's quality. He's won League One before. Mm. Trust the guy. Trust the process. He looked a bit ropey at one point this season, but you've got to back your onions. Do you think you need to now send a message to the fans? Because next season there will be a time where things look a bit shaky again. Yes. Get yes. there first. Yes. How do you stop them chanting, Gary, your tactics? Oh, I don't think you'll ever stop that. You won't ever stop that because football fans would just be up and down. And that's how it is. I was, look, I, I'm, I, I feel, I don't know what the word is, but, you know, I was guilty of it as well. I sort of questioned myself at times. Yeah, you were slagging him off on WhatsApp. Mm. I know. No, 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 don't. don't Back do in the dark winter. I, I wasn't. Mm. Don't do that. Yeah, I don't think you remember <laughs> half the stuff he said during that winter. That was awful. <laughs> don't, why are you trying to paint me out to be this guy that I backed him on, I fell on my sword. For yeah. No, that's not the right phrase, is it? You but backed for... him live on Radio Devon. 
Yeah. I backed it. I backed him live on Radio Devon when we hadn't won in eleven games. Mm-hmm. We drawn one, and I, Stevenage. I said, I still said then, yeah. this is the guy for us. Trust it. It doesn't look like it right now. And after that game, what happened? Oh, that was a really gutsy performance we put in there. Those players are still playing for this manager. Yeah, they bloody are because he's brilliant. Here we go. What are there I... any fans that are still? Yeah, 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 loads. And loads. What are they nah, loads is unfair. A few. No, not loads. But when I have a look at X Word, there's there's the obvious ones. There's that... people that can't. There's adults out there which really, really terrifies me that can't just admit that they were wrong. Mm. Like if I, if if Gary had for some reason been sacked, and you know we then had the run we'd gone on now, I'd go look. I was wrong. There's obviously somebody out there better, but he didn't. He turned it around himself. But what are their points? What are their points? Oh, I still now? don't like his style of football. I think it's this, that, the other. Blah, so they blah, have blah, to blah. go to subjective things, like, yeah. Also, this is coming from somebody who probably has absolutely no knowledge of football other than the fact they watch it, you know, once a week. This guy's played it at the highest level, played against some of the best players ever to grace our game, been managed by some really good managers, won the FA Cup, has won League One as a manager. But these people you know, still I was think... just imagining Gary walking into your room then, like just in a little towel, as if he'd been caught out. Oh, what's going on? I just Why imagine be... you... I just imagine you rushing me relations. I think I think you think we've got this sort of really I just like that you're really backing him and he, he comes in. <laughs> I think you think we've got a closer relationship than we have. I think if you were to ask Gary, he would just say we are acquaintances. We know one another. No, he wouldn't. I no way. Hey, I've got a lot of time for that, John. Mm. I um, I, He's a good I kid. after a lot of the, I text him in the in the uh, rough patch of the season. I text him to sort of you know, I don't know why really, but I just felt bad, so I just tried to keep him motivated. Really, <laughs> said it probably doesn't mean anything nice coming person. from me, You're but nice. in that streak where we were losing a lot this if is you lovely. put it, this is if you look at it on paper it was really like it looks like a horrific period but other than the Bolton game I, I struggled to pinpoint the game where we weren't you know like in it or in and around it the where you know where the run started was that late in Orient game at home where we had mm. to play Jake Richard because we had so many injuries and yeah I remember we that. only lost we lost that 2-1 and that was probably yeah. you know unfair result mm. then not long after that was the Barnsley game at home where it was we hit the Crossbar and post within 30 seconds of each other, and they scored a 90th minute winner. Yeah, we so never looked like to... scoring though. What, we hit the crossbar and the post. Yeah, but they were never going in. That's an absolute. I just I remember that game. It's it as crash. close as you could get to scoring without scoring. Yeah, I remember that yeah. game. I was right behind. I think it was Dimitri Mitchell or someone, yeah. or maybe it was yeah. Vincent Harvard. I was right behind. It was yeah. never going in. Well, it, it what? That's ridiculous. Anyway, um, it was trash. The whole game was trash. If you anyway, if you pick apart those oh, yeah. games individually, some of them were closer, and we were in them more than others. There's obviously was the Barnsley know, game the short corner game. The the uh, short no, corner no. game. Fuck Barnsley. Hell, that was that was the most. <laughs> that tense. was my favourite. We should ever. do a look back at the season. No, that was that was Shrewsbury at home, wasn't it? Oh, On a Tuesday night. I loved the short corner. Game. The short <laughs> corner game. The and short then the bloody cheek of it. We went to Shrewsbury away, which is the reverse of the fixture that that happened in. I'm pretty sure. And people, the city fans were chatting about short corners. What you do can't you win. You actually can't win. What's well, the as point? In take if... them short. Yeah, as in like it, they had a chance for short corners. That was it. Yeah. Please, if you're a fan of Mighty Folk Club, Bubble Club, go back to the short corner episode. Nice. Yeah. Listen yeah. to this. Listen to this. No, I'm not. I'm not. No, no, no. I'm not going to listen. I'm just. I'm, I'm just reading it. 27th of November, 2023, Series Three, Ep 34, Saturday Night Phone In, Bolton Seven, X to Nil. <laughs> that was an absolute humdinger of it. Oh dear. I found it. I found it. Listen. Oh my God. Oh my God. So, you pick up the backside and realise that there, there used to be 6,000 of us used to stand around that ground. It's going to drop to three, three and a half, like it used to. And that's so sad. That, that's income we've lost to try and progress. And that, that's, that's why I'm on here, really, is to appeal to all of you. Oh, I know to this, this podcast goes out lots of places. But we've got to get the players to decide, hang on a minute, 
We're playing for people that care. What, what would I, you do uh, then? If you were in a position oh, right now where you could make a decision, what would you do? Great question. I'd go yeah. and look now for somebody to put in at the top end of our um, without a contract, right? And actually get some so at least we can try and stay with us with them. I'm quite pleased. Our defence, when it's not been attacked so much, is all right. So when you've got some like a Sam Norman that can take the ball and hold on to it, our defence gets a breather. Over the last six months, we haven't had that breather. So I really think that that's what's needed. There's somebody at the top to hang on to it, or to let people run past it. I'm not like that bit where... We, and we've got to it rather than wait till January. Take, you want to take control of the situation. Not leave it to, to chance like we did at the start of the season when we sold on that. But what does taking control of the situation look like to you? Because obviously between now and January, you can't bring anybody in. Yes, in the target, man. Okay, but between now and January, we can't do that. So what? So you just yes, take... And you, you, can buy, you can bring in somebody that's non-contracted. Or at least to look, look to do that. Right? And that's the reality to it. So so we either act now, we wait three months or two months, one month and a half to get more in the pool. Uh, and then, then, you know, then we are really in trouble. That's, that's the... Uh, your friend Colwell's gone. Your, your friend Colwell. Your friend Colwell. Wait, go on. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Rewind so that. Rewind, rewind. So we either act now, we wait three months or two months, one month and a half to get more in the pool, and then, you know, then we are really in trouble. And then, if you like, your friend Colwell's gone. That's nasty, actually. Yeah. I've I've already said on this pod I've addressed that I wouldn't say I wouldn't think he calls me his mate. So you you believe with every fibre of your being that Gary Caldwell cannot what? keep this football club up? Uh, no, because the reality oh, is it's the bad. What's he done? What's he done, Wes? Right, but the man surely going to be gone. Say we take the risk. Gary Caldwell cannot keep this football club up. Uh, no, because but the reality is it's it's the players that keep the club going. Right, but the manager's got to take the mantle, you know, very much by the hand and say to the players, we do not want to perform like we did. Right? And, and we've got all the fans that went all that bloody way up to the last game right, and had to put up with that sh one team that we saw with no passion for the club. That cannot continue. And I don't care what league we're in, that's not the passion that I've seen out of Exeter City players. Okay. Yeah, I, th- I think it's, it's a very... that. Is does that help the, the club? Is that, it's little things like that, which with me are like you can. You people moan about not having a good enough striker, but then jeer off our two strikers when they get subbed off, and it's like, well, you, then you're asking them to play with some passion, but they're getting jeered off by the people they're meant to be playing passionately for. To me, it's a it's a double edged sword. If you want him to play passionately, get behind him, and then he'll work hard for you, and then he'll then he'll run. Ragged, like you said, you wanted to run like a headless chicken. People need to start backing the players rather than booing them when they get sucked inside the team. I just don't see how anyone could think the club would be tied to this. Trust me, the club don't want anything to do with this. We talk about what? What? <laughs> I'm joking. I said joke. It was a joke. Twenty-year-old <laughs> penises. Yeah, yeah. There's no. There's no. It's a PR disaster. Can you imagine if they paid us for a season and we sent them back some of the stuff we've recorded? That's the bit that (laughs) annoys me. Because people think that, you know, we might receive a fee or whatever from the football club to say that Gary Caldwell is a good manager. If I thought he was shit, I would say it. I don't I don't care. Absolutely. Uh, Okay, well I wouldn't. If there is anyone from the club who wants me to uh... I would love to take a fee. And I'm talking I'm talking a biggie. Oh, yeah. Actually, I don't want to take a fee because then we'll have people, gatekeepers saying, oh, you can't talk about John's penis, blah, blah, blah. Mm. Episode 31, you started talking about John's penis. Edit that bit out. It would be... It would get tense. Yeah, there would be someone listening in and we'd end up with two-minute episodes. You can't say Nigel collects dildos. Nigel does not collect dildos. That we know of. Allegedly, allegedly, he doesn't <laughs> feel those and send them to John in the post. Yeah, how would you even post one? Would it fit through the door? Probably not. No, they do. <laughs> well, they leave okay. them on the porch. I'd say, no, when I was like, um, when I was in between 
college and uni, I worked because it was COVID. I had to work for a year. I couldn't go to uni, and I worked at Amazon. And um, that was there was loads of dildos in there. All right, cheers, everyone. Um, thanks, <laughs> thanks, John. Thanks, Alfie. Thank you. Is that we can't, we can't call it that? <laughs> Super little place to leave it. Here's your, here's your cliffhanger. Yeah, we we saw Red, Red Square cry there. Say with every fibre of his being, he didn't think Gary Caldwell could keep this football club up. At the moment, we're on track to break our points tally for last season. So, if that ain't smug, I don't know what. It... <laughs> Do you know, be so, you're allowed to be smug because you took the shit all year. Be smug, man. Yeah, John, you took some shit. Yeah, you yeah. really did. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, I did. Yeah, I absolutely did take some yeah. shit. <laughs> so throw it back. You were the punch bag. I hope I hope Gary's thankful for that. I took... Oh, don't bring Gary into it. Don't point it either. Don't point it him through the lens. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Are you okay with being his acquaintance? So I felt like that was a little bit. No, no. I'm just saying. I, I, I've, I've got no, I've no feeling towards it. If he wants to call me his mate, he can. If he doesn't, then you know he's got. That's, really epic. That's so easy. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, really... Gary. <laughs> That's the first question when he comes. No, no, up. if he wants to call me his mate, he can. It's uh, <laughs> totally up to him. <laughs> well, you know, he's probably got some like dead famous friends, isn't he? So text you know. him, say, Am I your friend? No. He not messaged good. you after this pod and went, John, I just want you to know I do see you as a really good mate and I appreciate what you've done for me. Would you be happy? Yeah, I'd go. All right, let's go for a pint. <laughs> You'd love wow. It. Right off the bat. Straight away. <laughs> and to end the pod, how many dildos do you think you saw in Amazon? Mm-hmm. Warehouse. I, more than... Ballpark. More than... I worked there for over a year. I'd say it was probably about, on average, two a night. Biggest two a night? Just quickly, two a night. Saw. Sometimes they would uh, be in their packaging, right? Because you're not meant to see them, but... Packages would break on the conveyor belt and they would just sort of jiggle around the conveyor belt. So you were packing them for them to go out? So no, I wasn't packing them. I was uh, actually what they called the gunman, which is quite a cool role. Um, you basically, they come off the lorries. The dildos. And they need to be, well, all the packages, but right. some of them were dildos. A lot of them were bottles of wine, things like that. It was locked down, so people were glug, glug, drinking. Oh, shut um, them up. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, um, and they come on. That you got a loader, a gunman, and then a distributor, which puts them onto the belts. And you basically scan the parcel, and you've got to put the yellow label on. Bang, bang, bang. Nice. Yeah. And are these going out, or are they to be stored in the warehouse? No, no, these are going out. We did eighty thousand parcels. So two a night. a night. How many nights did you work there? I worked six days a week for a whole year. Lit. Fucking hell, sir! There's a thousand women out there that you supplied. Yeah. I'd say an average of or two men. a night. Not every night. It was an average or of two men. a night. Yeah. I saw loads. Basically, women, are, and women are randy. Very, Some very were like, randy. you know, That's tentacles. and Yeah. Women are very randy. Get me in the right mood. <laughs> right. Okay. That's... <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> okay. Cheers, everyone. <laughs>